Hello there. Thanks for your company. Move that down now. Right. You just caught me having a tea break. Well, welcome to the planet POC. <laughs> uh, quick update of what I've been doing lately. What am I on about planets? Well, this planet that I live on is very, very sparsely populated. Mainly by old farts like me, I guess. But uh, what am I leading up to? Well, over the weekend, over the weekend, my village had a, a garage trail sale. I think in the States you call them yard sales or flea markets or you know the sort of thing. Anyway, we all, we all put out a load of stuff um, up and down the road. People getting rid of things, so I put a load of stuff out of my sheds, projects, bits and pieces, household things. My missus put out some clothes, books, the usual household thing. But mostly it was a, an eclectic version of all my stuff out of sheds. And the idea wasn't to raise a lot of money, it was really to have a... Anyway, we did make, we made a bit. But I was, well I'm not surprised, I've come to expect that now on my planet. The number of people that walked in the gate had a cursory look, turned straight round and went straight out again. Whatever's happened to inquiring minds? Not what on earth is that? Or how does this work? Or how did you manage to do that? Or good morning or anything else? What are they looking for? What are they looking for? Anyway, as I say, we made a bit and uh, there was no youngsters either. Now I'm not having a go at youngsters, but I saw three, and they walked past the gate looking at their phones with headphones on. What are they teaching them nowadays? It's me, isn't it? It is me. Yeah, I know it's me. You know, go on, have a go at me. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, anyway, we did this. I won't tell you what I sold and for what and what I'm giving away. You won't. You won't. Well, <clears throat> move on. Put that down there. When all the sales were over, I would have liked to have gone around and looked myself, but I was doing one, so. But later on in the afternoon, where they hung out for us, later on in the afternoon, I had a walk round, and um, some people were putting out things they, they obviously couldn't sell, and they'd put them free notices on. And... Um, there was this TV there. I put this phone on it while I was working on something else. Hang on, let's, let's move that knee cup while I spill that bag up. There you go. That's it. Right, let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, I'll do one. Colour's not very wonderful. Why is that? Hmm. Why isn't the colour right? Oh well, let it go. On this TV, um, you had free, and uh, it's one of these flat screen things. And it's got multiple inputs here. It's got uh, DVD, T, terrestrial in, RF in, out, HDMI, so I can go from the computer, ATV, little thing, gain, uh, Left, right, audio and video, so I can use that straight from my video camera into there. SCART socket, um, RF in, headphones out, and S, old oh, system S, connection. So I thought, well that's good, that's not bad. So let's pan back. Diddly, diddly, diddly. That'll do. So, the uh, TV, which is... We sat around here. Up there, right. Says he, that they all fall over. Right. There's a Vistron. Where's that flare coming from? It's probably me. Ah, I know why well, my colours were funny. No, that's a leave off. Right. Oh, I don't like that glare. Stay put. Now, the advantage of this, this was free. 
and there was a free mug with it. And um, I just said to the lady, how did you get on? And did you have many? And she'd sold some things and what have you. But there's one or two cabinets and bits and pieces and this was free. So I said, does it work? She says, yeah, I believe it does. She says, but the remote control doesn't work. She says, um, she says it's got a DVD player in it. I said, oh, great. She says, uh, but I don't know if that works. Anyway, I had to look in the in there and there was no batteries in there, so <laughs> that would explain why it didn't work, wouldn't it? So that's the Kelly, I think. Should have lit up. Yes, it has. Uh, yep. See what happens. Come on in, guys. You should be there. Let's push something. Oh, that's a TV. Let's push that one. DVD. There we go. We got DVD in us. There's not one in there at the moment. So I've got to check that out. Now, uh, I have been playing this remote. I've got no instructions, of course. Right. I can access these things at the back, the HDMI TV and AV, so I can use this. Come up one. There you go. I can use this in my little camera on here as a monitor. Um, so I thought, well, that's good. So, okay, well, I've muted the sound, otherwise we'll get feedback, and I've connected me my little camera to the to this. Um, oh, I've got my camera on. Pill it. Right, focus up. There we go. Uh, wrong way. <whistles> well, it doesn't matter. Right. So we've got the camera, and um, we've got that fitted to the to the TV, and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I never quite like these things all that much. On my planet, uh, they haven't uh, evolved too much, evolutionary-wise. Um, this won't be going in my house, for instance. Uh, I'm still watching a an old Cathay tube television. I actually like the analog aspect of the CRT as opposed to this. Um, LCDs, liquid crystal displays, plasmas, all the gizmos. Something not right. That, oh, no. Well, I'll give another video on that, but there's something I personally don't like. And as I say, we're pretty backward uh, species. The advantage of the old one, of course, is you could actually hear them. This one has got forward facing speakers, because this is a relatively old hat. But, uh, of course, all the modern generation of things are tinny, awful things, and you've got to buy a sound bar or a, an orchestral combo surround something else just so you can hear the damn thing. So, uh, perhaps we're not too far along the evolutionary scale. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, this is far the good. So, this won't be going indoors. Not while my old system works, so. But, in my other, one of my other sheds where I mess around with these things, do a bit of editing, and play around on another old computer, again, old systems, you'd laugh and I ain't even going to tell you. But I could connect it all up to this and it'd be easy to see and I've got to put it on the wall. So I, I haven't got a stand or anything. Well, it was free, okay? So... And I'm not going to go out and buy a, a wall bracket. And um, as I don't want it to swivel, tilt, or I simply want to hang it on the wall like a picture. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is what I've come up with. At the bottom of this model, we've got this cut out and these slots. Whether that's something to do with a, a stand or something, I don't, I don't know. I haven't got that anyway. But also at the back here, we've got four, 
for uh, studs and I suspect a, a wall bracket or something went on there. It feels, it feels solid and this back is on quite solid so I looked through my junk box and found some bolts at the right, the right size thread. Now I think to watch, anyway I got the four, I think to watch with these is that when I used to play around with marine radios and do repairs I had quite a few come in that had been destroyed where people had put the radio into the wrong frame or put or found some bolts and the bolts went through and shorted out electronics on the other side I come across this a few times so always a good idea to sort of gently go down and measure with your finger how long the bolt can be so you don't short anything out. So I'm going to use these four bolts to hang the thing to the wall and all I'm going to do is make up a simple plate with a couple of elongated slots there, the same as you would hang a picture. Um, the sheer weight of the thing will hold it uh, stable and it will allow me to get to the bottom of these uh, sockets for the various applications that I want to try. So that's the plan. As you can see, I've changed my mind of a sheet. I looking in my plastics box. We've got quarter-inch thick acrylic strips. So I cut up a couple of pieces of this, and uh, well, you can see how I fixed it, and uh, an elongated slot here with a decent-sized screw and a washer-sized washer on the other side there. And I think the advantage of this is it allows additional ventilation along here and uh, keeps it very simple and it's cost me nothing at all. I like that. Four million light years just up the road are nearest neighbour of these little creatures. They're very friendly. Let's see if we can communicate with one. Hello. Could I possibly interest you in this 350 microfarad, 480 volt AC power correction capacitor? To you, five reach. I'll take that as a no then, shall I? <laughs> 